All right, so let's talk first up. Uh, judge rules for Zillow in the REX antitrust lawsuit. Uh, <laughs> LOL. <laughs> yeah, so we talked about this, and I think our, our question was, is this lawsuit going to actually have some legs? Uh, so here's the article. It's from Housing Wire. You can go there to read some of the details. Uh, REX grabbed national attention when the residential real estate brokerage filed a lawsuit, which we kind of talked about that being primary marketing strategy. The antitrust conspiracy was, was between the uh, Zillow listing giant and the powerful National Association of Realtors. But a judge's ruling Wednesday forcefully concluded that there's no merit to REX's allegations and denied the brokerage's motion to stop how Zillow is currently listing properties. So if you go to Zillow right now, you'll see a tab that has all of the properties that are in the MLS. Then you'll see another tab that says other homes for sale or something other. like that. <laughs> other, other is anything that is for sale by owner. Or if you are a company that is a non-member of the multiple listing service and you want to feed your listings to Zillow, that's where they will go. REX is a real estate company that's also a non-member of the real estate service and not a part of the multiple listing service. So whenever they list a property, they have a special feed that goes to Zillow and they want that included in the main Zillow feed. But Zillow says, per the MLS rules and regulations, we can't do that. So uh, REX sued Zillow and the suit was, you got to display our listings just like everyone else because when you put it behind that tab, no one ever sees it. Uh, the judge said, um, that's not true. And the reason why, where's that? Where was the reason? Let's find the, I'm going to find the exact thing. It, it goes into detail on, you know, what REX claimed and everything like that. But basically, um, it was basically a, a pop-up, a help pop-up. <laughs> yeah, a FAQ, a FAQ. Yeah. yeah, where is that statement from the judge? I'm, I'm looking here in the article. I have. Oh, there no. it is. But the Seattle judge sided with Zillow and said that the listing website have attempted to explain in a consumer friendly manner the differences between the two tabs by developing a pop up and a fact pages. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which that I don't like that seems okay. I agree with the rule. I agree with the ruling on totally different basis, right? The basis right. that I agree with this ruling on is that uh, REX has in no way contributed to the MLS nor helped build the MLS. And in the past, right. they've partnered with other agents that are members of the MLS in order to get additional exposure for those listings because they know it works. And, and they're trying to build their business based on someone else's platform and trying to force that platform to do something that benefits their business and right. could one day be a competing business. Right. So this would be bad news for anyone that wants to develop a platform that other people can then develop on. So, yeah. for instance, a judge could sue Apple or a judge could force Apple to do something based on a lawsuit. If um, a developer says, hey, we developed this product and now it's been uh, taken on by Apple or now Apple's changed their the way their phone works and now our app doesn't work. So we need Apple to change back the way the phone works. Right. So a precedent could be set in this lawsuit for a bunch of different lawsuits in the future like that. And it's pretty much been kiboshed because of a pop up. So here's my question. And this, a fact and a fact page and a fact. Don't they've get, don't they've forget. get right. Don't forget about your fact pages, ladies and gents. Right. Those could have legal ramifications. Which, you know, <laughs> the person writing the fact about, seriously, we got to write this fact about two tabs. <laughs> like, this is, <laughs> we have to really put this out there. But now, not only they, did they create the tab, <laughs> they also said, here's a frequently asked question about it. Yeah. yeah. And a pop up. I mean, <laughs> yeah. They're doing more than enough, in my opinion. And and that and that little programmer that wrote the fact page needs a. I mean, the reason why they won this lawsuit was because of how they wrote the fact. So yeah. technical writing skills are on point. Yeah, and right, the so, programmer, the coder who actually made it pop up, like those all, they all should get some prizes here, some bonuses. So now REX says it's not over. Uh, Jack Ryan pointed out that the case is not over. REX still has, for example, monetary claims against Zillow and NAR. But I have to say, in in that's interesting in, to me. In my limited understanding of uh, law, whenever you have a judge that comes out pretty plain and says, "Nope, it's not going to work," um, tend, other lawsuits that aren't directly connected tend to struggle uh, because they the the other cases can't can't help but to hear the previous ruling. Um, we're disappointed. Uh, this is from REX. We're disappointed that consumers 
will continue to face NAR segregation rule every time they visit Zillow. And that's one of my problems with this guy is he keeps calling it a segregation rule in, in an effort to bring about some kind of emotional response based on America's history of segregation. It is not... He's using it as a term to basically market their lawsuit in a way that I think is disingenuous in the first place. So I've got very little respect for Rex, um, basically just because of that. Uh, well, and also it's like um, if you go after him, you say, okay, we don't like the way you're doing this. We want to be represented too. And here's here's your trial. We're going to have your trial. And then they say, nope, there's no merit to it. We're We're denying your claims, right? Why go after them for money if this isn't just a, you know what I mean? Is, is If this isn't A, just a money grab and B, just a marketing ploy, then why not just drop it? Hey, you tried, make your platform better or, you know, improve your search, your SEO skills. You know yeah, what I mean? Right. Like, yeah, they've, they've been saying, hey, this isn't about the money. And then they're like, well, now we they still, still have, have, we still have monetary lawsuits against them. So this is not over. Right. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's just, it's interesting to me. And then the other part of it, um, Let's see. Do, 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 do. Yeah. So it's, they're saying, and they're mad because they're saying, and I kind of understand it, but it suggests they're saying that it's, it somehow suggests that consumers or two consumers that Rex's listings are somehow inferior, you know? And then their whole point is they're squashing us because they're, they don't want us. They want to keep their traditional model of how much they charge. They being realtors and Zillow, how much they charge uh, to sell a home you know, we charge less, we're a discount brokerage. And they hate that term in the article it says it chafes them. They hate it. But are they really, really discount when you really go through the process? It's, you know, if we're on an average five to 6%, they end up charging seven to nine, sometimes 11% in certain cases. And we have gone through this ourselves. So I don't know. It's just interesting to me that, Hey, you know, and how did I say yesterday? The, the, the parasite on the whale is mad that the whale's not eating krill anymore. I don't know. Why. Yeah. Yeah. That was what you said yesterday. I don't know why I went such a uh, C weird. Word. Yeah. I guess you're into Moby Dick. Uh, yeah. Weird, weird C reference, but Hey, uh, I like it. It does fit. Yeah. But Dennis says that Rex are the biggest crybabies, and it really sounds like it. They just sound like they're mad, like that their product isn't, I don't know. I said it whenever we talked, that was a week or two ago. You know, if, if I sell bagels and Ray sells bagels and we're in the same city, exact same product, but mine doesn't get as much traction, then apparently my marketing isn't as good as Ray's. So how can I get, then get mad at Ray going, well, he sells 800 bagels a day and I sell eight. Well, I'm going to sue him because he's not representing me on his website. Yeah. I'm not selling your bagels. Uh, yeah. Why, why aren't you showing my bagels, dude? What are you saying? My bagels are inferior. Like I, it's just weird to me. Yeah. 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 Uh, okay. Someone. Yeah. Okay. Let me, let me reiterate where we are. Everyone. We are on YouTube. You can search the bearded men of real estate show and see it there. I just had somebody text me and say, Hey, where is it on YouTube again? If I wanted to watch it there. So I'm also going to uh, go to this tab and send it around to folks too. Oh, uh, a tab. We've created a tab for it. <laughs> There's a tab. like Zillow did for Rex. I mean, I think people are pretty used to tabs, right? I mean, tabs Very are, yeah, tabs are a thing. Uh, so let me send this to the person that texts me real quick. I appreciate uh, the text from those of you who are in Clubhouse that are saying, where can I watch it? I'm going to send it to you there. But yeah, uh, Clinton just says, alternative headline, Rex's temper tantrum is over. <laughs> <laughs> I want my listings represented. Uh, Julie Moon says, we need a fact <laughs> and FAQ. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we'll get a fact sheet together for everyone. And then she has uh, another great comment that that tab is actually titled, people who don't value realtors. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the other tab. People who don't value realtors. Uh, let's and see. Mar to answer Mario's Mario, question, I think we're going to cover that a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Mario says, Ray and Dan, you're seeing the articles coming out this morning and, and last night about lumber prices falling. Yes. In part, uh, thank you to Matt LaMarche who sent me one of those articles too, because we were looking for a better one than, than some of the stuff we had found. 